Creating and sculpting with clay is a lot of fun and in today's video I'm going to share with you some clay tools. This is really budget friendly and hopefully we can find most of them around our home or we can make them. I mostly use air dry clay so that's what I'll be talking about today but you can use most of these tools and techniques for clay that you fire in the kiln or polymer clay. So here we have sculpting tools for air dry clay. Let's start off with what I work on as a surface. I always use a tile and these are smooth tiles that I have left over from renovating projects. And I have a collection of various tiles so that I can work on more than one project at a time and leave it to dry on my tile. If you don't have tiles like this, you can use a wooden chopping board, a plastic chopping board, or a piece of glass, or even a piece of cloth laid out on a, on a flat surface, and you can roll on there. And if you feel at any point any of it's getting stuck, then you can, of course, use some parchment paper or some greaseproof paper to make sure it's not sticking onto your surface. But I do find that these tiles, when they're smooth, they do work really well. So that brings us to rolling out the clay. I have some cute little rolling pins like this, but if you don't have any or don't have any dedicated to air dry clay, then you can of course use some simple items that you'll have around your home. Hopefully you might have a glass jam jar or you can use a bottle of any description. And for smaller items, you can use a barrel of a pen or a piece of dowel, or this is a piece of bamboo or anything cylindrical that you can roll and get a lovely flat surface with. To cut the clay, you can use a craft knife or just a simple table knife will do. And also if you want straight edges, I find it quite easy to have a ruler and you can make a lovely straight edge with your ruler and cut the clay in this way. Also, I quite often use a paper clip or safety pin or a pin and take the sharp end and drag this through the clay and create our shape that way. And that works really well. If you want to make a slicer for the clay, you can take two lolly sticks or two little pieces of wood and you can add a piece of wire or a better still, a piece of fishing line in between. And there you have a nice cutter for larger sections of clay to cut in this way. If you have the wire, it does tend to kink and bend. So fishing wire just works that little bit better. When working with clay, cookie cutters are also a really great tool and they come in so many different shapes and sizes. I have so many here. Just one point that I'd like to make, anything that you use with your air dry clay, if you keep it safe all together and dedicate it to your air dry clay as air dry clay is not food safe so you wouldn't want to mix it back in with making cookies again. So dedicate those items and all the items that you're using here today into doing your crafting and your clay work. Cookie cutters are also good for using part of the shape and then carrying on making the rest of the shape with the ruler or the knife and that way you can get some nice smooth edges by using part of a circle and parts of other shapes that you may have. Once we've rolled out the clay and want to smooth out the clay on the surface. We don't need anything fancy for this. We can use a simple credit card. And with these, I have just cut them to shape and then we can use these to smooth over the top of the clay. Obviously not your real credit card. And so these are a really handy tool. If you'd like to make yourself a hoop tool, you could get something like a hair grip, like one of these, and simply use a piece of dowel and drill a hole in the end or you could use a pencil and push the lead out or here I have the piece of bamboo and you simply want to create the size and shape you want maybe if you get some pliers or you might be able to use your fingers to create the shape you require and then we would take some air dry clay or some hot glue and insert it into the hole and then add this in. Or you could add a piece of tape around there. And so there you would have your hoop tool and you can create these in lots of different shapes and sizes. 
When attaching two pieces of air dry clay together, I like to use the score and slip method. And so to score the clay, we can use something sharp. I, in the past, have used something like this, which is a corn on the cob skewer. And you can, or you could use a pin or anything. Or if you want to make yourself a little tool, here I have some little pins and a piece of air dry clay. So here I'm creating a tool just to make this job a little bit easier and it really is quite easy and simple to make. Use as much or as little air dry clay as you wish so that you can get a nice grip on the tool. Leave them to dry completely and then give them a couple of coats of varnish. You can then score the surface of the clay ready for the slip. When it comes to shaping the clay, you can use something really quite simple like a stick from the garden or something like a lolly stick or similar. You can cut the lolly stick down and shape it. So here I've cut it into a point and I can use that to do some designs and do some shaping on my clay. You can take some sandpaper and sand a different shape out if you wish or you can smooth it out and make it whatever shape you wish. So here I have a small stick from the garden and I can do exactly the same with that. I can take a piece of sandpaper and I can either make it smooth on the edge or I can make it pointy, I can make it whatever shape depending on the design we require for the project. When working with our clay and trying to smooth it out a nice soft brush comes in handy too. So if you dip this in the smallest bit of water, you can smooth this across your clay and you can also make it smooth in that way. Sponges are very useful when it comes to working with clay as well. You could take a bit of a sponge that you get that you'd use with the dishes. You could use a makeup sponge or like with this, I found some sponge left over from an upholstery project. The sponge in lots of places you could use a natural sponge or anything and what you can do with these is we can shape them and cut them to whatever shape we wish. So you might want one that is curved, one that is pointed, one that is flat and we can use these depending on what project we have. You would dip the sponge in some clean water and wring it out mostly and then use this to smooth and to shape your clay. We quite often would like to make some holes in our clay and straws are very good for this. Twist and make a lovely clean hole. I also like to use toothpicks and pencils to make smaller holes and these also work really well. There are so many different things that you can find around your home to make lovely imprints into your clay and I've made a video all dedicated to this so please do take a look at that after you've watched this video. If you've made something round like some beads or something that's not flat and they have a hole in you can add them to the end of a pencil or a piece of dowel and then easily pop them into a jar and let them dry like this and the air can get all the way around them that way. When working on a clay sculpture it's nice to be able to see all the way around the piece of clay and not have to move yourself so it's good to devise a little turntable and you can do this with anything as simple as a lid or a little pot that you can place in front of you, place your item on top and then you can turn it and keep turning it to work on different parts of your clay. When our air dry clay is fully dry, it's really nice that we can use some sandpaper and be able to sand down the piece and sand out any imperfections. So you can use flat sandpaper like this. What I like to do is take a small section of the sandpaper. I've cut a little square here. I've added some glue to the back of it and I've let it dry. Put an elastic band around it and here we have A nice tool that we can use as a sanding tool as if we want to get into something like some of these holes and be able to sand it gives us a really good finish on there 
and you can do that with absolutely any shape that you have so you can take a small piece on a lolly stick or on a paintbrush or anything and you can use that equally you can just get yourself some nail files or emery boards and use these for your air dry clay too just make sure you put them in your box and store them all together for your air dry clay purposes Ultimately, our best tools are our hands, and so there's so much we can do with just our hands and our fingers alone. The most important thing is to enjoy your project. I really do hope you found this video useful. If you have any other ideas, please do put them in the comments below. Over on this channel, I have lots more air dry clay ideas and there's lots of questions that arise when it comes to air dry clay. And in these videos, I try and answer as many of those as I can. See you in the next creative video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.